Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, Ultra Flagship, Ultra Price The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is the best phone in the world right now, it boasts a solid design, phenomenal power, long-lasting battery life, one of the best displays, one of the best phone cameras, and a host of other fantastic features, such as support for Samsung's excellent S Pen. It's a great choice, and it sets the bar for all other phones being released in 2021. It's not just the best phone Samsung has created so far, but it will remain in history as the first S-series smartphone that supports Samsung's digital stylus. Just like the Galaxy Note series, the S21 Ultra can now be used in conjunction with the S Pen, unfortunately, it does not include one in the box, and unlike the Note series, the stylus cannot be stored inside the phone. Apart from the new stylus features, the S21 Ultra is a specs beast, starting with its beautifully curved screen sporting a 6.8-inch AMOLED panel with Quad HD Plus resolution, and adaptive refresh rate from 10 to 120 Hz for a super smooth experience. It's also very bright, for breathtaking HDR content. And the fact that this display runs at 120 Hz while maintaining its native resolution of 1440p, renders it better than its predecessor. Of course, if you game a lot at 120 Hz, the battery will run out fast. Even so, the S21 Ultra has a solid autonomy, and can last a full day on a single charge. But the standout feature is its fantastic quad camera module in the back, which doesn't disappoint this time, unlike its predecessor. It is in fact capable of 100x zoom photos which are far better than those shot on the S20 Ultra. The secret lies in its two 10 megapixel telephoto lenses, working in tandem to produce stunning results. The quality of the 108 megapixel main camera has also improved, capturing incredible high resolution photos, more beautiful portraits with a great depth of field, and brighter shots in night mode. The ultra wide 12 megapixel sensor completes the quartet of rear cameras. Then there's the huge amount of shooting modes, including a fully manual pro mode, and Samsung's excellent single take 2.0 mode, that uses the phone's AI to capture images and videos of a single event making sure you never miss the perfect shot. The S21 Ultra also excels at video capture, with a new director view mode allowing you to record footage using both the rear and selfie camera simultaneously. Other highlights include the snappy performance of its Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 SOC, or Exynos 2100 outside the US, up to 16GB of RAM, and up to 512GB of storage. Add to all this the latest Android 11 operating system, as well as a number of advanced features such as Samsung DeX and reverse wireless charging, and you find yourself with a phone that has almost no flaws. Sadly, the S21 Ultra does not include a charger or a micro SD card slot, but overall, this is still the best Android phone you can buy. Apple iPhone 12 and 12 mini, best iPhones for most people. If you can't justify the premium price of the Pro models, then the iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 mini might be the best phones for you. The new design looks fresh and it's been a long time since we had an iPhone that looked different. 5G connectivity means it is also future-proof, while the new A14 Bionic processor is the most powerful on the market. The iPhone 12 also has a new OLED display that far outshines the iPhone 11's low-resolution LCD panel and HDR support that makes colors pop. What's more, the new narrower frame design maximizes the 6.1 screen real estate. If you opt for the smaller version, the iPhone 12 mini comes with a 5.4 inch screen, always OLED. Both look brilliant as long as you don't mind the notch. The glass on the front is made of ceramic, which is much more durable, and the iPhone 12 uses a new range of MagSafe accessories that employ magnets to attach cases and chargers thus allowing for faster and more convenient wireless charging than the past iPhones. You'll also get one of the best camera modules in existence, which consists of the main camera and an ultra-wide one both sporting 12 megapixels. It lacks the telephoto lens we find on the Pro models, but you get the same night mode that automatically illuminates dark photos. And you'll also be able to record video in HDR. Both iPhones have a one-day autonomy. Ultimately, the iPhone 12 is the best iPhone for most people, while the iPhone 12 mini is the best compact phone ever. OnePlus 9 Pro, Best Premium Android Phone OnePlus surprised everyone last year with the launch of the 8 Pro, 
the company's first true flagship device. The only area where that phone wasn't up to its rivals was photography. With the launch of the 9 Pro though, OnePlus managed to rectify that weakness, and the results are excellent. This is a top-of-the-range phone that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with rival models from Apple and Samsung. This device is powered by Qualcomm's latest chip, the Snapdragon 888, paired with 8 or 12 GB of RAM, and 128 or 256 GB of storage space. However, what really impressed us once again is its screen, the OnePlus 9 Pro boasts a 6.7-inch Fluid AMOLED display, with Quad HD resolution, that manages to reproduce extraordinary details and really vibrant colors. In addition, its refresh rate is dynamically adjusted depending on whether whatever appears on the screen can benefit from the higher frequency or not. When set to 120Hz, the smoothness of movement not only makes gaming a real pleasure, but can be appreciated even when you scroll through web pages. Moreover, the 9 Pro is the best camera phone from OnePlus yet, thanks in big part to them partnering up with the master of photography, Hasselblad. This device features a great 48 megapixels main camera, boasting a Sony IMX789 sensor and support for optical image stabilization, a 50 megapixels freeform ultra wide angle lens designed to reduce edge distortion, an 8 megapixels telephoto lens with 3 times optical zoom, and a 2 megapixels monochrome sensor. Thus, the OnePlus 9 Pro manages to capture images on par with what you get from leading rival camera phones. It is not the best but it is a remarkable step forward in the right direction. On the other hand, battery life is its Achilles heel. It offers a one-day autonomy, but its 4,500 mAh unit does not have the duration of other flagship models. Fortunately, OnePlus has equipped the 9 Pro with fast charging, capable of recharging the device in just 30 minutes, and fast wireless charging, which takes just 15 minutes more. To sum up, OnePlus has definitely focused its attention on the cameras of the 9 Pro, but this is an incredible phone that offers top-notch processing power, a big and beautiful display, and most of the functionalities you would expect from a premium smartphone. Its battery life is not the best ever, and it is quite expensive, especially considering OnePlus's original mission, but it still manages to earn the title of best premium Android phone. Apple iPhone 12 Pro, Apple's best phone the iPhone 12 Pro is a truly tempting proposition if you're looking for the best of what iOS has to offer. There's so much to appreciate here that it's hard to know where to start. There's the fast A14 Bionic processor, 5G connectivity, a triple camera module further improved with the addition of LiDAR, the new redesigned shape of the phone, and welcoming updates compared to the cheaper iPhone 12 that include a telephoto lens for better zoom, a stainless steel design, at least 128GB of internal memory and more RAM. And we haven't said a word about the software yet. iOS keeps getting better with each subsequent iteration, and iOS 14 is an awesome software package. While the same amount of money allows you to buy Samsung's latest flagship with a bigger screen and more storage, most iOS users simply don't want an Android device. Instead they can take pride in everything Apple encapsulates in the iPhone 12 sleek new design. You get for example the new A14 Bionic processor that blows away all Android phones, and MagSafe accessories that make wireless charging a breeze thanks to the magnets built into the iPhone 12. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't include a charger in the package. But the real reason to opt for the iPhone 12 Pro is its cameras. The main sensor now allows for more light, and night mode works on both the ultra-wide and front-facing true-depth camera. While the three rear cameras are not too different from the ones we find on the iPhone 11 Pro, the real difference is the LiDAR sensor, which improves performance in low light conditions and focus. However, if you want the best camera on an Apple device you will have to splurge for the more expensive iPhone 12 Pro Max. In addition, the stunning 6.1-inch OLED display is now protected by ceramic shield, which is designed to offer four times the protection in the event of a fall. Unfortunately, the infamous notch is still here, though it is easy to ignore. It also comes equipped with one of the best batteries we've ever seen on an iPhone. It's nothing revolutionary but its autonomy is better than all other Apple phones except for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. All in all, the iPhone 12 Pro is an easy inclusion in this list, and we're happy to recommend it as long as you're an iOS fan, 
and you can justify its price. Apple iPhone SE, 2020, the cheapest iPhone. The A13 Bionic chipset inside the new iPhone SE, is the same one we find on the iPhone 11 series. It's a rare thing to see a premium system on a chip inside a device that costs so little, and it grants the new iPhone SE the best performance to price ratio of the entire segment. But not everything revolves exclusively around it. The iPhone SE also comes with a good camera, wireless charging, IP67 certification, and premium build quality. The compromise is the dated design based on the iPhone 8. Of course, you will not get all the bells and whistles you get with a true Apple flagship, the camera battery and display are not as good as those on the iPhone 11, but they all work great and provide a solid user experience. If you are an Apple fan and want a new iPhone without spending an arm and a leg, then the iPhone SE 2020 is a best buy. Google Pixel 4a, best budget photography. The Google Pixel 4a offers almost everything you could ever want in a smartphone. It's the successor to the Pixel 3a, and retains many of the great features that made us fall in love with it, it has a stunning 5.8-inch OLED screen, an amazing 12.2-megapixel camera, that takes brilliant photos, and includes smart functions such as night sight and super re zoom. You also get the power of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G chipset, 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, a headphone jack, stock Android with smart features like call screen and the recorder app, which can convert speech to text in real time, and Google's three-year promise of updates, which is crazy for a phone that costs so little. Where the Pixel 4a fails to improve is in duration. Although it sports a bigger battery than the Pixel 4, it still fails to last an entire day. Also, there's no XL version, which is a disappointment to people who like bigger screens. Last but not least, the 5G version will arrive later this year. But pretty much every other way, Google's latest Pixel device is an incredibly well-rounded cell phone, boasting the best photography for the money, and everyone who is looking for a cheap smartphone should consider buying it. OnePlus 9. Best Quality to Price Ratio The OnePlus 9 is the younger sibling of the OnePlus 9 Pro, and is one of the best options in the high-end segment of the market. Similar to the 9 Pro, it offers great performance, thanks to Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset, ultra-fast charging, and something photographers will truly love a fabulous ultra-wide camera. But let's start with the specifications, this is truly a high-end device. It is lightning fast, and it doesn't seem to slow down no matter the amount of multitasking. The 6.55-inch AMOLED display with Full HD Plus resolution boasts a 120Hz refresh rate for ultra-smooth scrolling and truly satisfying gaming. And speaking of speed, the OnePlus 9 recharges in just 30 minutes. For the creation of its camera module, OnePlus teamed up with Swedish camera manufacturer Hasselblad, the result? This phone captures accurate and well-balanced photos with pleasantly vibrant colors. In addition, the ultra-wide camera takes advantage of a unique lens design that corrects edge distortion without introducing stretching, an effect that you can notice in the corners of ultra-wide images captured by other phones. Yes, the OnePlus 9 Pro takes better photos, its main camera is equipped with optical image stabilization, useful for its ability to keep subjects sharp in poor lighting conditions. And the telephoto lens is missing, the OnePlus 9's digital zoom cannot compete with the 9 Pro's optical one. Last but not least, the 4500 mAh battery will last comfortably for a full day, and the phone charges very quickly since it supports a 65 watts fast charging. All in all, the OnePlus 9 is an impressive phone. It features a large display, a high-end chipset, the best ultra-wide camera, and fast charging. We would have liked better battery life, and better camera performance in low light conditions. But this phone still offers the best price to quality ratio of all other high-end smartphones available right now. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, Best Phablet The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is expensive, but no other smartphone can match this phablet's capabilities. You get a brilliant design, an even faster chipset, at least in the US, a gorgeous 6.9-inch OLED display with a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate, as well as plenty of new S Pen updates, ranging from new gestures, and a smoother response time of 9 milliseconds, to the ability to record voice notes and sync them with handwritten ones. Plus, the Note 20 Ultra packs the best camera of any other Android phone out there, 
ripe with goodies like the 108 megapixel main sensor, the crazy 50x space zoom, and a dedicated laser autofocus sensor to reduce blur. It also boasts a big 4,500 mAh battery, which will easily last more than a day with normal use. Samsung also includes a wired 25 watts fast charger in the box, while the device also supports fast 15 watts wireless charging. Furthermore, the Note 20 Ultra is also a mini PC and a gaming console. With enhanced DeX functionality, you can stream photos apps and more on a TV nearby, and with Xbox Game Pass you can play more than 100 Xbox titles streaming them directly from the cloud. The Note 20 Ultra also works well with the PC, using Link to Windows you can run Android apps directly on your laptop, receive notifications, make calls, and more. Not everyone needs a business smartphone like this, but if you want the very best, then buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, the best Android phone. Samsung offers three phones in its Galaxy S20 range, but the S20 Plus has the best mix of features for the money. You get a stunning 6.7-inch display with a 120Hz refresh rate, future-proof 5G connectivity, and a fast Snapdragon 865, plus a decent battery life. Speaking of performance, only the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max can beat it in benchmarks. Nevertheless, the S20 Plus can handle all apps and games with ease. The two features you will lose by not opting for the pricier Galaxy S20 Ultra are the 108-megapixel camera and space zoom, both compromises most people are willing to make. This is especially true since the S20 Plus boasts some pretty impressive cameras. The new sensors capture bright, colorful photos, and the three times lossless zoom is more powerful than the one we find in the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The only thing we don't like is Samsung's Android skin. For the rest, this is the best Android phone you can get. Oppo Find X2 Pro, a valid alternative. The Oppo Find X2 Pro is a phenomenal phone and a true rival to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus for the title of best Android phone. Its high-end Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor is very fast, while its 6.7-inch 10-bit and 120Hz Quad HD Plus OLED panel is a real joy to behold. The autonomy of its battery is also excellent, while its ridiculously fast 65 watts charger makes up for the lack of Qi wireless charging. Last but not least, it also boasts 5G connectivity. Its main camera uses Sony's new 48-megapixel 12-bit IMX 689 sensor. In addition, the 13-megapixel periscope camera offers a 10x hybrid zoom and a 60x digital zoom. It's a bit expensive, considering that both the OnePlus 8 Pro and Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus have very similar specs while cheaper, and that the Color OS software experience isn't on the same level as OnePlus's Oxygen OS or Samsung's One UI. Samsung Galaxy S21 – More Compact and Less Expensive The Samsung Galaxy S21 is a fantastic choice if you like the S21 series design, and want a small flagship, but without the premium price of the S21 Ultra. This phone boasts in fact the same superfast Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset, or Exynos 2100 outside the US, 5G support, and has an in-display fingerprint scanner, particularly helpful now that the use of masks makes face unlock nearly impossible. Obviously, it doesn't have the premium specs and features of its predecessors, now reserved for the Ultra version. But its ace in the hole is the price. The S21 is a small flagship that is cheaper than all its competitors. A lot has been written about Samsung's downgrade to Full HD resolution for the S21 6.2-inch OLED display, but we couldn't notice the difference. With an adaptive refresh rate from 48 to 120 Hz, and better brightness, the S21 screen is very smooth, without unnecessarily taxing the battery, and will satisfy most users. Speaking of battery, it's a 4000 mAh unit, that will easily last a full day on a single charge. The S21 sports a triple rear camera consisting of a 12-megapixel main camera, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide sensor, and a 64-megapixel telephoto lens, while on the front we find a 10-megapixel selfie camera. Although the camera module is the same as the one on the S20, minor software improvements make it a touch better. The S21 produces beautifully detailed photos with really bright colors. Portraits in particular are way better, and the new zoom lock feature allows for better shots of up to 30 times zoom. 
This phone is also capable of recording 8K video, and supports single take 2.0, for capturing photos and videos with all cameras at once. Overall, its camera module is not as phenomenal as the one on the S21 Ultra, but it will be more than enough for most people. The S21 has the same trade-offs as the S21 Ultra. It does not include a charger nor a micro SD card slot, while its back is made of plastic instead of glass. Ultimately, the S21 is not as advanced as the S21 Ultra, but it is thinner and lighter, with a great mix of specs, and much more convenient. If you already own a Galaxy S20, we do not recommend updating it, but for everyone else, this is the perfect phone. Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, best flagship killer, you no longer need to pay $1,000 to get a top-of-the-line Samsung phone. The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition offers everything most people want from a flagship phone at a price most of them can afford. Its notable features include a 6.5-inch 1080p Infinity O display, with a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate and without those annoying curved sides. There's also 5G support, a 4,500 mAh battery and expandable memory. Samsung even equipped it with Qi charging and an IP68 rating. We also really like the triple camera module on the back, which includes a powerful 3x optical zoom and an impressive 30x digital zoom, but avoids unnecessary gimmicks, as well as the high-resolution selfie cam. Although it sports a plastic back rather than glass, the S20 Fan Edition still looks elegant and feels like a premium device. You'll also have to settle for a slower charger than the regular Galaxy S20 series, but these trade-offs are worth it. Google Pixel 4a 5G, best cheap 5G phone. If you want a 5G phone that doesn't cost much, the Pixel 4a 5G is the best, since it combines the best features of the Pixel 4a and Pixel 5. It sports flagship performance, long autonomy, a fantastic camera, and runs stock Android 11 guaranteed to receive timely updates for the next three years. It is equipped with the same rear dual camera module, the same Snapdragon 765G processor, and 5G connectivity as the Pixel 5, while the OLED screen is even bigger. The Pixel 5 sports a 90Hz display though, but it also costs more. That said, there are some compromises due to the lower price. While most modern phones have three or four rear cameras, the Pixel 4a 5G has only two, thus limiting its versatility. It is not equipped with wireless charging or waterproofing, and it has slightly less RAM than Google's flagship device. Is this a deal breaker? It depends on what you want from your phone. The mix of price, performance, and features that the Pixel 4a 5G manages to pull off easily makes it our favorite Pixel phone, and an easy inclusion to our list of best phones of 2021. Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, Best Flagship In simple terms, the S21 Plus is an S21 but with a larger screen. Much has been said about the downgrade of Samsung to a full HD Plus resolution for the display of the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus, but in our tests, we didn't notice any difference in image quality. With a dynamic refresh rate of 48 to 120 Hz, peak brightness of 1300 nits, and support for HDR10+, the screen of the S21 Plus will please almost all of you. The good news is that by limiting the screen resolution, the 4800 mAh battery of the S21 Plus will easily last you a full day on a single charge. The S21 Plus comes equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, 8GB of RAM, and up to 256GB of storage. This is a powerful package that scores impressive benchmark results and responsible for the excellent real-world user experience. The S21 Plus will also appeal to photographers, as it comes equipped with a triple rear camera module and a powerful selfie camera. These cameras are mostly the same as the ones on the S20 Plus, but with some software improvements that make them a tad better. Add to all this the latest Android 11 operating system, a fingerprint reader under the display, and fast charging, and it's easy to see why the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus is one of the best phones on the market today. OnePlus 8 Pro, the first OnePlus flagship. The OnePlus 8 Pro is a truly stunning device that offers unparalleled value because it manages to pack all the latest and greatest features we find on other flagships into a phone that costs less. We can think of so many reasons why the 8 Pro is such a special phone, 
but first and foremost we have to talk about its striking Quad HD Plus display, with a 120Hz refresh rate, and support for HDR10+, the best one ever seen on a smartphone. The 8 Pro is also the first OnePlus phone to support wireless charging. Even better, it's the fastest wireless charging we've ever seen. The 8 Pro also features high-end hardware, the best implementation of Android 10, 5G connectivity, and a selection of advanced features such as reverse wireless charging and IP68 certification. Of course, since this is an OnePlus phone, the design and ergonomics are also great. Most flagships sport better cameras, but this is still a great Android phone, that doesn't cost four figures. Google Pixel 5, Best Pure Android Phone Pixel 5 is Google's first 5G device. Unlike past Pixel models, it is not meant to compete with Apple's and Samsung's flagship models, instead, is a great choice if you want to get a new Android 5G phone guaranteed to receive timely updates for the next three years. It doesn't feature a high-end chipset, it doesn't sport a flashy design, and has fewer cameras than the competition. But at a lower price and a more compact body it is still an attractive choice for many. The Pixel 5 makes do with a 6-inch display with Full HD Plus resolution, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor, 8GB of RAM, 128GB of internal memory, a 4080mAh battery, a dual rear camera, and a front camera that is housed in a hole punch notch, while also abandoning some of Pixel 4's advanced features, including face unlock, that we will miss. The good news? The Pixel 5 is one of the best phones on the market in its price range, especially if you like the clean and stock version of Android. It also comes with some premium features, including a 90Hz display, an aluminum body, IP68 waterproofing, and wireless charging. And there are also some useful Pixel exclusives on the software side. As usual for the Pixel series, it is the camera that helps the Pixel 5 stand out from the competition. While the hardware hasn't changed much from last year, Google's image processing continues to impress, and it's hard to beat it in terms of photo quality. The main sensor paired with Google's brilliant software optimization lets you capture amazing photos, even in harsh conditions. The ultra-wide lens on the other hand is ideal for landscapes. And you can also shoot videos up to 4K at 60fps. But perhaps the most obvious reason to switch to the Pixel 5 is that last year's battery woes are gone, thus solving the Pixel 4's biggest drawback. Last but not least, its 12 watts wireless charging works through the metal rear shell. Apple iPhone 11, best bang for your buck. The iPhone 11 currently offers the best mix of features and price among Apple devices. Of course, it doesn't have some of the most advanced features of the iPhone 11 Pro or iPhone 11 Pro Max, but it is the iPhone with the best value. The display for example, is brilliant and up to Apple standards without being OLED. The camera is also similar to the one on the iPhone XR. If you want the best of the best, you will have to splurge for the Pro, otherwise the iPhone 11 does a solid job. It also offers a good autonomy, although not exceptional like the one on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, that will still last you a full working day. The iPhone 11 offers the best from Apple, at an acceptable price. And if you want more, you will have to be prepared to spend a whole lot more. OnePlus Nord, Best Midrange Smartphone The Nord is OnePlus's attempt to return to producing the best flagship killers. Despite its price, this smartphone is full of premium features, beginning with the screen that has a refresh rate of 90Hz, and finishing with the six cameras in total, things you typically don't find on smartphones that cost less than $500. The screen in particular is absolutely spectacular. Not only because of the 90Hz refresh rate, a feature usually reserved for phones that cost hundreds of dollars more, but also for the 6.44-inch AMOLED panel, that can become particularly bright to use outside, and can make blacks and shadows stand out when watching videos or playing games. But let's talk now about the compromises. The Snapdragon 765G, assisted by 8GB of RAM, cannot match the performance of the high-end processors that we find on the various flagship phones, even though having this chipset means that the Nord can connect to faster 5G networks. And despite all those cameras, OnePlus's image processing software still makes the colors appear too cold. Last but not least, there is no wireless charging and no official IP rating, while the battery life is just okay, rather than exceptional. But, for the price, 
the OnePlus Nord is one of the best Android phones you can buy right now, period.